Hello everyone. Today is Friday, March the 25th, and I am going to be cranking out some videos for all of you this weekend. I have got so much research. I stayed awake all night again, and I have got to stop and just put these all together for you. So I'm going to be coming at you fast and furious. So uh, stay tuned. Don't forget, support your uh, YouTube community and um, give me a thumbs up or put an emoji tomato in there or just anything so that you help our algorithms and keep us going. This will help us uh, showing up on your record recommended list. It's, that is, if you're subscribed and you have the notifications to all, let's get around all these people that are trying to block us and boycott us, and let's find a way to get our message out to you and the rest of the world. So, let's get on with it. Harry blacklisted Jack Whitehall, but why? If you guys don't know Jack Whitehall, he's a comedian. His father was, um, I think, an entertainment manager and I watched this series, there were like three or four years where his retired father goes all around the world with him and they go on these fun and wacky uh, adventures and it is just the funniest thing I've ever seen. I just loved it, it was so endearing. But anyway, um, check out Jack Whitehall if you've never heard of him. So let's find out um, in just a moment why Harry blacklisted him. What did he do? There's my disclaimer. I want to thank you now for watching in case I forget at the end. So again, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to put anything in the comments, even if it's just a single emoji. Let's uh, just start with a beautiful picture or two of um, Duchess Catherine and Prince William. And they're absolutely gorgeous. And no matter what the, uh, some of the media is saying out there, they are having a wonderful time. And people have enjoyed seeing them and they were so receptive to them. And we know the crew that's putting that negative stuff out and trying to stir up trouble and overshadow their trip. We're not going to let that happen because every one of us in this community are going to go out use our social media, use our YouTube platform, and uh, tell the truth. There's Kate Middleton. She stuns in this beautiful green gown. This isn't the best picture of her, but I'll pull some more together for you later. But I just wanted to include her. She is absolutely gorgeous. Our, our Catherine just looks gorgeous in green. All right, now let's see. Oh, this is the gentleman who has the company who works um, to take the people down off Twitter. And he's trying to take the YouTube channels down. And you can see he's got highlighted in red the two that he's uh, cheering about, saying that he's been successful. Now, two down and counting. Well, I've got uh, something for you, Mr. Boozy, later in a video. And um, it's going to be some exciting news. And I think we're all going to be pretty happy about it. And by the way, we're multiplying. Our community is growing. We have new channels cropping up every single day, and I'll be supporting each and every one of them and their voice. Now, on to the uh, the story. Jack Whitehall, such a good-looking man, says, Royal Ribbing, my pal Prince Harry has defriended me for jokingly calling him ginger nuts on stage, says Jack Whitehall. And this was reported in The Sun today. It says he is banned from seeing his old pal after uh, making a cheeky gag about him. The comedian, 33, claims a tongue-in-cheek joke at the Royal Variety Show in 2015 where he called Harry Ginger Nuts is the reason why he's been blacklisted. I guess he can't appear at the Royal Variety Show anymore. Gosh, Harry, are, are your feelings that sensitive that you can't take a joke? You do much worse. Jack revealed the news this week at the London Palladium as part of this How to Survive the Summer Holidays tour alongside his mom, Hillary, and dad, Michael, 81. Mocking the ex-royal and his wife, Meghan Markle, Michael teased, Jack, I read a book recently and it changed my life. I put this book down and I thought, I must become a writer myself. This book is called The Bench and it's written by Meghan Markle. Upon its release in uh, June last year, the book sold just 3,212 copies, with the former Suits actress claiming the book began as a love letter to my husband and son. Well, she's been giving out books, and uh, it's been reported that she was mailing them to libraries all over. She took them to the, um, the school up in New York and uh, Harlem, 
and somebody said that she bought 3,000 copies. We saw a ton of them stacked up on a desk when she did the 40 by 40 for her birthday. So I imagine she sold, what, about 212 because um, she bought the other 3,000. It appears, allegedly, just in my opinion and from what I've read. So, um, in a dig at the Prince, whose insiders say is attending the Oscars in Los Angeles this weekend after being asked to present the Best Picture Award, he added of the children's book, she presumably wrote it for Harry. We know that this has been false. The Oscars never invited them. They've been blacklisted. They didn't invite them last year. They didn't invite them this year. They want to be invited, and they want people to think they've been invited. And I will... I don't even know what I was going to say. If I ever see them on there, I, I, I'll I eat my shoe. Anyway, uh, that's the end of this one. Uh, again, sorry, this one's um, kind of short. I'm going to keep them brief and, and just try to uh, crank them out. I hope everybody's having a wonderful day. Have a great weekend, and let's stay positive, and don't forget to support your entire YouTube community. Like and share these, and make sure that um, everybody is... Uh, uh, getting shown the love. Thank you guys. Thank you for your support. Thank you for watching. We appreciate you so much and we wouldn't be doing this without you. Have a great day.